Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, today, quick tip. Um, I'm probably a little late to the party on this, but I uh, thought I would go ahead and, and tell you guys what I found. So, if you're in the Festool world and you have a couple other drills, you know that they use a proprietary Centrotech adapter bit uh, shank size style. A little different than our quarter inch that uh, we have every other drill. All of our Milwaukee's, DeWalt's, Makita's, they all use quarter inch. Festool uses Centrotech. So it's a little bit longer, a little bit different shape than your standard quarter inch. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But uh, anyway, so with that, um, Festool has their, their own bits that you can buy for their drills. And naturally, they're a little bit on the expensive side, being they're Festool branded with their proprietary Centrotech. I found a USA-based company called Snappy Tools. So these are actually built with the Centrotech system. So this particular um, bit is, you know, your, your VIX bit, your self-centering uh, hinge bit, I guess you can call it. Um, basically, you know, Festool sells these things for $90 a piece. This was $30. Um, and they have all different kinds of sizes of these self-centering uh, drill bits. So we're going to give it a shot and see if it works. Um, and then this is your number two square drive craig craig screw if you if you do a lot of pocket holes you you know that you got to use the the number two robertson robertson bit and i didn't have any number two bits for my festool that had the central tech in well snappy tools makes one and these were this was nine dollars um what i've been having to do if i'm going to use my craig drill when i'm putting in pocket screws you know i'll have to take this adapter out which is a central tech end but a quarter inch, it accepts quarter inch. So I would have to take this bit and then put my number two bit in it and then, you know, attach it to my Festool drill. Now, <coughs> excuse me, since I found this, this is all that I'm going to need. So it's pretty cool. It's a U.S. based company. The prices are, are nowhere near what Festool charges for their bits. So I'm hoping that um, the quality is going to be there. Um, that they'll last as long as some of my other, I do have some, a few other Festool bits that I've bought in the past and they're still going strong. So hopefully these, let's hope, uh, make it that long. But, uh, again, they had all different kinds of bits. They had your snappy, they had their, uh, you know, your Phillips, your slotted, probably seven or eight different size hinge, hinge bits, self-centering bits, different lengths. This number two, six inch driver that I bought actually came in three inches too. So yeah, I could have gotten a shorter one, but I needed the six inch. So there's pretty good array of different snappy tool Centro tech bits that you can actually find and buy that are much cheaper than the Festool Centro tech branded bits. So I hope that helps guys. Um, I, I honestly wasn't aware that you could, could buy aftermarket central tech bits. I've seen a lot of folks online that take their quarter inch bits and file down the edges and kind of make it fit in these drills. And I didn't want to do that. So I, I, I've been looking for some other companies that actually make central tech shanks to fit our drills and you know, we'll see it. So again, this is their snappy tools, USA made. Um, so we'll, we'll see how they work. Uh, I'll try to remember to do a, a month or two month update if I use these a lot so I can give a, an honest review of if I think they're going to hold up or not. But so far, if they don't, I'm not out too much. Um, prices aren't, aren't overly expensive for these things. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks.